Men behavior and mannerisms are often misunderstood. Sometimes they think this could man because a man goofy or nice that he's not good in the bedroom. A man can be real good in the bedroom. He could be a total barbarian in the bedroom, a straight main bingo warrior. He can be straight out of the Wakanda finest League of Justice. But he's just nice and goofy. He's playful. That's one of the misunderstandings that a lot of people, especially women, have on men. Another thing is, they think this because a man is quiet, that he agrees with everything a woman says. Just because a man quiet don't mean he agree. But see, when you don't say nothing, nobody have nothing to measure. So their imagination take over. Their assumptions are higher than their facts when you're quiet. That's why the Bible says silence is golden. It's a time to speak up, though, because if you don't speak up, sometimes they'll think you're scared or they'll think you're scared to lose the job or lose the job or scared that you lose a person or scared to lose the relationship. When people think you're scared to lose something, they really treat you bad because they think you're scared. And when somebody think you're scared, they, in their mind, that's free licks. There's free, uh, free interrogations. There's free disrespect. There's free physical hitting, when people think you're scared to do anything or scared to speak up or scared to say something, they, um, they are relentless. I'm quite sure many of you folks experienced that when you stood up to a bully in school or something like that or, you know, you was quiet, you let some stuff brush off because you got thick skin. You don't worry about petty stuff. You don't worry about petty stuff. So what happened was, People mis misunderstood a lot of stuff that men, superior men of God, don't really worry about petty stuff. So it comes across as if the, he may be scared. Maybe he don't speak up because he's scared. Why he never get ang angry or stressed out? You know what I'm saying? Why he never get angry or stressed out when um when somebody's trying to say something slick or say something sad out their mouth? It's because he's bigger than that. But don't get it twisted, because he will, if you go too far, he will speak up at the job with the with the female or whatever. You'll speak up. He'll let you know, hey, hey, you're going too far. You know, don't mistake my niceness for weakness. And that's what the world usually mistake about men. So a lot of times women think a quiet man agrees to all the ignorant things she say. And all, all women are not ignorant. I'm just saying some, some men disagree with women but the women don't know that they don't know that he disagree because he <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he like he ain't gonna mess them cheeks up he wants to smash he ain't gonna mess them cheeks up so he ain't gonna say nothing that's going so many guys talk themselves out of the cheeks uh especially when we're young we talk ourselves out of the cheeks a lot some people don't, most of us do. So we gotta understand these things and there's a lot of mis misinterpretations when it comes to men. And just because a man um, don't perpetrate to be tough, he don't have a tough exterior or demeanor, that don't mean he's not tough. He can be a straight tough man, he's just not putting on a scene, he's not he's not yelling wolf tickets. You know what I'm saying? He's not bluffing. Some of the toughest men in the world, they don't make th they don't make no threats. They don't look tough. They ain't got no tattoos. They ain't, some of them don't even got no facial hair. And they tough. They strong. You I wouldn't advise you to test them. Don't, I wouldn't advise you to test them. Just play it cool. Don't test them. Do not test them. So those are the things that, some of the things that you got to watch out for that is misunderstood about men behavior and mannerisms. You know? And some people think just because a man talk slow or talk country or have a strange accent or a goofy accent from where you're from 
or talk real southern or don't kind of sound like duh, 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 duh. they think he dumb. Could be a straight genius. He just sound like that. He just sound like Forrest Gump, but he actually is a genius. If you listen carefully to him, you'll say, "Did he? Did he just say what I think he said? This guy is really bright. He just sound very uniquely slow or something." But when you listen to him, he's speaking things that are monumental. So a lot of things are misunderstood about men behavior, mannerisms, and think just because a man don't um, not flashy, that don't mean he broke. I know of many guys who not flashy, they live a simple lifestyle, very humble lifestyle, but they millionaires. But, you know, we got broke millionaires out here, too. You're living a lifestyle. You're broke, you know, because you got, you're taking care of so many people. But um, you got humble people out here, you know, that's just not into flashy or putting on the scene that are millionaires. Then you have people that look like they billionaires that are actually penny heirs. Mm-hmm. So, that's one of the things. That's just how it go. Those are the things that a lot of women or people in general misunderstand about guys. And just because a man is skinny or bony, that don't mean he's weak. I've seen guys that very skinny, they picked up guys almost twice their weight. They picked them up and threw them. They threw him. It's all on, it's every, I've seen it in person, it's all on Instagram, it's everywhere. There's some guys out here that have supernatural strength from God. So when you're dealing with supernatural strength, yeah, that's on another level. You know, you got people that ask, anything time you're dealing with supernatural, whether it's coming from God or a demon, you're gonna be stronger than that. Uh, than when you're just using your natural strength. But when the super is involved, when the super is involved, that's when, that's when there's something going on. So just be careful out there not to misunderstand men. And, um, and just because another mannerism, just because a man is touchy, touchy on the first date, ladies, listen carefully, ladies, listen carefully, it's for you. You know we love you. We're just talking about them demons that being the devil be trying to work through you with. Don't worry, it's not you. You got to go to church and get sanctified and pray the Bible. Then the devil won't be able to use you. We're not talking about you. We're talking about the devil in you. Two different things. We love women. We hate the devil. <laughs> um, is that um, they think just because a man is really touchy-touchy and he's really highly sexual or something, you know, he's trying to, that's not all, just because a man wants to smash you don't mean that's all he want. Ladies, just because a man wants to smash you, that don't mean that's all he want. That just means he haven't, it's a high, high possibility he haven't been doing anything with anybody and he just like your mind, he like your personality, he like your body as well. And he wants to feel it. He's still going to call you back tomorrow. He's still going to call you back tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? He's still going to do all those things. So, you got to understand. That's how it go. You got to understand not to go by what you see. The same way with your situations. You get fired or, you know, you, you get in a get in a financial bind, you get in a, um, you know, temporary sickness and stuff. Look past all that. Keep your faith and know that God gonna heal you. He gonna heal your situation, he gonna heal this and that. He gonna make it work. He gonna make it work. We got a good God, y'all. Jesus Christ is good. Despite what anybody got to say. Take it from me, he's good. He's good for you. Anyway, I'm not going to hold you up too long. Uh, wow, this is the longest video I've 
done in a while. Um, thanks to you guys' donations, I'm able to continue to do videos because it's, it's, it's allowing me to have more time instead of do what I got to do over here. It's having me more time to do what I want to do here for you guys. Um, keep, you know, sending the donations in the, in the Cash App and the PayPal. Um, those of you who don't have Cash App, most likely you have PayPal. So my PayPal link and Cash App is in the description box. Also, if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation, my email and my Instagram is in the Insta is in the uh, inbox. Also, if you want to check out my latest single, yes, Alan Rillionaire does music too. I'm all on YouTube and Google, so just put in Alan Rillionaire, you'll see some of my songs and all other stuff. This face will pop up. It's my main logo. It'd be like this. It's my main logo. Um. Also, yeah, if you want a um, one on one consultation, um, just send me a message to my email or Instagram. You want to add me on Instagram anyway, just in case I can, you can have uh, be notified by different stuff, you know, and that's where I do my consultations at on the Instagram anyway. Whether you want to do audio, video, it don't matter, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, Anyway, much love to you, Alan Rillionaire. I talk to you soon. Stay prayed up. Uh, press like and subscribe. I see you in the comment section. Let's have a discussion on this. Hey, keep the donations coming so I can keep doing the videos and have more time to do the videos, and so I won't have to do what I got to do to help this that situation. This situation with some family members that got it all jammed up. Um, so I appreciate your support and uh, everything else. Um, stay. Prayed up, and I'll see you in the comment section.